I'm just gonna come out and say it. Somebody offers you a promotion at work, don't take it. Just say no. The answer's no, Griff. The answer's no, Griff. We haven't had any time to work on any of my junk in like a month and a half because I said yes to a promotion. It's kind of the worst. But today, we are finally going to unbox the turbocharger that I got probably a month ago from TurboDodgeParts.com and take you over a couple new things that we're gonna do on the Shelby project. My name's Austin, this is the Mopar Garage, and when we're not too busy being promoted, we build cool stuff in here. I didn't even think I've showed you guys this. You guys officially picked out the license plate for the Shelby. Every time I put a poll up on YouTube, it's not just for fun. You guys are actually making a difference. Uh, you guys chose 86 Turbo Z for the license plate. That's what we got. This thing is now registered and insured with Haggerty. So as soon as it's done, we can legally drive this thing. But I uh, had to go with the personalized plate for it. So I think it came out sweet. I'm telling you, you guys make a difference on the channel. Between the license plate, you guys also picked the color of this truck. This truck was gonna be emerald green. You guys chose intense blue. Voila, she's intense blue. Still needs a bed liner, but anyway. Got the cowboy workbench all sorted out. We're gonna pop open this turbocharger. So, this car was uh, burning a lot of oil at idle when it was cold. Uh, so I suspected that the turbo was bad. Really glad that we had it rebuilt because um, it was discovered that not only were all the seals bad, but uh, the bearings had some play and uh, it was just time to rebuild this sucker. So we did it. New head, new turbo. About to be new other things. I'll show you that in a second. Oh, that's a part. See, these are things you gotta be careful of. This, I'm guessing, is the brace to the it is. That's the brace from the turbo to the block. That is some kind of vacuum line. Yeah, baby. Oh, it looks amazing. What a beauty. Got some, if you guys remember, the EGR pipe was broken. Uh, so not only did we get a good used one of these, which are, by the way, impossible to find, uh, but we got some of uh, Steven's patented 500,000 degree um, heat resistant material on it. So on our exhaust gas recirculation system, we're not gonna have heat problems. Obviously this thing is all rebuilt, cleaned up, beautiful EGR system, looking good. There's not a gasket here where it hooks onto the exhaust manifold, which is weird to me, but that's the way it is. Um, man, looks awesome. Really, really pleased as always with Mr. Seal's work. Beautiful. So I guess we'll bolt this thing onto the exhaust manifold because the head is gonna all go in as one and then we can loosely put our bracket onto the back side of the turbo. Um, this bracket is what kind of supports it against the block. This piece of hose, I'm not 100% certain where this came from. So maybe, hmm. I don't know. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go though. This thing, I took it apart so darn long ago. There's stuff I don't remember how it goes back together, but we'll figure it out. Um, let's go ahead and throw this thing on the head. Man, this thing looks good. 
All right, which way does this thing go? I know these induction pipes go up. So, like so. Oh, the uh, studs only line up one way anyway. Just like that. We got ourselves a new O2 sensor. Nice. Beautiful. Our beautiful workbench on a set of mud grappler tires here. So, excuse the garage. It hasn't been this bad in a long time. Ever, actually. I still got all the stuff sitting around from the paint job, the coolers. It's a mess. You know what, before this gets hooked up, I've got to put charge bulb on. I think this one is, yes, this one's intake from the throttle body. This one's the charge pipe. And it's disgusting. How did I, how did I, loosen these i can't even get to them when it's off the car and i pulled this turbo out before i even pulled the head how did i do this i don't know between here and here there's not enough space for a wrench they didn't design these things like you look at it and you're like that's probably pretty easy to work on they didn't really think much when they designed this. How the heck? Do I have a smaller 15 somewhere? No, nope, I don't think that's smaller. Maybe this end smaller? Okay, there it is, that end smaller. Click. Tighten our charge pipage so that we hold in all of our boost. You know, don't want to be losing boost. From what I understand, not that I've ever owned a turbocharged anything, but if I understand the basics of it, you don't want to be losing boost. This thing was just hemorrhaging oil this turbocharger, so my intake pipe, and especially my charge pipe, it's just covered in oil. Turbo is installed, manifolds are installed, head is completely refreshed. At this point, the head is ready to go back on the car, right? Wrong. I was texting with Steven the other day, and he's right. He said, hey man, your turbos wore right out. Your head was wore right out. Do piston rings and main bearings. And he's, he's right. So we're doing piston rings and main bearings. We're gonna run a hone down the old cylinder race. My plan this weekend, Saturday today, my plan was to do the pistons and rings and make a video, but they have not yet arrived. So I think they're not gonna be here till tomorrow. So alas, we have to wait another week to do the head reinstall on this car. So hopefully next weekend, we'll do main bearings, we'll do rings. And then once that's done, head goes back on and we are ready to rock. We can reinstall our throttle bodyage um hook up our exhaust back up install an o2 sensor hook all our vacuum lines back up and the moti will be done on this thing now the subframe k-frame whatever you want to call it i do i did actually purchase one of those from steven i have to go to atlanta and pick it up but i don't trust any of my junk to drive all the way to atlanta shouldn't say i don't trust it i trust this thing i just god that'd be a long drive to atlanta in this thing I mean, this thing wanders all over the road. You know how second gens are. Uh, third gen, update on this thing. Figure, hey, 
We might as well do an update on all the vehicles. Oh, speaking of, the new grounds on the fender, fixed this thing for like three days. It's back to surging. It's just never gonna be fixed ever, I guess. Um, this thing has not moved since you last saw it, as you can tell. Uh, it's got some, some flattage on the back. The good news is they're only flat on the bottom. They're only flat on one side. Um, but I guess that tire doesn't hold air for too long. Front tires seem to hold air. Uh, this thing, we still got to do ball joints. We still got to do uh, exhaust manifold gaskets. I want to change all the fluids in it. Um, well, this one's flat too. Yep. Anyway. Um, so it has not moved. I'm telling you guys, I got a promotion at work. It's the worst. I work all the time. Um, hopefully that won't be the case forever. The Kia is still unexpectedly awesome, like always. I actually love that thing. Um, man, that's pretty much the fleet update. Cassie finally washed her Jeep. Um, still got all kinds of tires in here if anyone wants them. I've still got all the remnants of my paint job aftermath for that thing. I've yet to return my steering rack. I'm sure, I'm sure the 90 days is up on the core charge, so that'll probably cost me $30. Um, let's see, what else do I have to update? Nothing really. Um, I got a nice Haynes manual so that I can have torque specs and stuff for engine reassembly for this thing. Um, I found, so I've always had this trim piece, but I thought I was missing on the driver's side or the passenger side, I thought I was missing this trim piece um, and I found it in sitting in the back seat of the car. Um, so I have that. Got this guy here. There she is. There's the trim piece for the door. So that is awesome because I don't know where the heck you'd ever find this trim ever again. So I've got all the trim, which is fantastic. I've got a, oh boy, stuff's blowing around out there. So I've, I've really got, I got a fuel pump. I've really got everything I need to finish this besides pistons and main bearings. And that's not gonna be too hard. You can just pull the oil paint right off of this thing. I'm so used to all my second gen stuff where you have to lift the motor to pull the oil pan and then you can't get a wrench in it. It's a nightmare to do main bearings in those um, without pulling the motor. These things, you can just pop that oil pan off pull the main bearings off it. And the cool thing is with it being a four cylinder, which I'm also not used to, it was like a hundred bucks for main bearings and rings, maybe like 130 or something. Um, so really cheap. Might as well do it while we're in here. I wish I had more to share with you, but uh, I'm telling you, been work. Uh, before I clocked in on Friday, I had 46 hours going for the week before I clocked in on Friday this week. So eh, it's just, I got promoted to run the entire operation here in South Carolina for this uh, company that I work for. And it has just been one thing after another, but appreciate you guys watching, subscribe to the channel. We're getting awfully close to a thousand subscribers. That's the magic number. Like the video, comment down below. Don't get promoted. If anyone's made it this far in the video, comment that. We'll see you guys on the next one.